A new temporary structure appeared in front of the Mahaska County Courthouse this week, creating a buzz as to its purpose. Oskaloosa News correspondent Ken also spoke with Mahaska County Auditor Sue Brown about the building and its purpose. We're standing there in front of a, uh, a shed that has caused a ruckus in town. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about your the, the shed and what the purpose is going to be? Um, we were brainstorming in this time of COVID and ways that we could uh, serve the voters for absentee voting. And uh, in order to keep voters safe and people in the courthouse safe, rather than having everybody in all one spot, we came up with this idea. And uh, this, this little building is going to be out front here in, the, in front of the courthouse until November, until the election and uh, voters will be able to come up to it. We're making it handicap accessible and be able to vote inside. All right, so people will come here. So absentee voting actually starts, what is it? Monday, uh, Monday, Monday the 5th, Monday morning. Okay, so let's kind of go through some of those. If people are wondering how do they vote, just kind of, and I know you sent out a press release and has more detailed information. Yeah. And I'll include that with this, but just some basics about what folks should be aware okay. of. Okay. Monday, will in-person voting will begin. So they can come here to the courthouse and come to this little building and walk in and uh, fill out an absentee request form and sign it and we'll give them a ballot. They can vote and put it in an envelope and we put it in the election box and save it for the day that the absentees are counted. So that's in-person voting and that starts Monday and it goes through November 2nd at 5 p.m. We are going to have this open and our office will be open on all Saturdays in October. October 10th and 17th will be open from 8 to noon and October 24th from 8 to 5 and October 31st from 9 to 5. So those are some options for people that work that want to come in absentee vote that they can try choose a Saturday. Okay. So somebody goes to show up to vote, what kind of identification do they need? What kind like, of documents? Absentee voting and at the polls, you'll need to have a uh, photo ID with your current address on it. If you don't have it with the current address on your photo ID, you'll need to bring a piece of mail that proves your resi residency. All right. So November 3rd, once again, is election, election day. day. And one of the questions that I, I've heard already is, well, what's the difference between having it out here or coming inside? I mean, you know, if somebody's COVID positive, they're still going to Right. I understand that. I'm just trying to, our lobby isn't real good for social distancing. And I know this isn't very big either, but we can kind of work with that. Um, maybe not so many people at one time inside. And approximately how many voters will this be able to serve at any one time? Um, Probably, we haven't totally set it up yet, but I'm saying, I'm thinking four, maybe six. 